lot to talk about, but honestly, I probably don't, but I ramble a lot, so this video is probably going to be like 20 minutes long anyway. Oh! here with my September favorites for 2017. So without further ado, let us get started. A lot of the things that I have to talk about are more like experiences rather than like things. My first thing is that I got a job, so I'm so excited about it. I'm going to be working as an recreation assistant. We have rec centers in Hamilton where there's like different programs that run for kids and adults and it's basically kind of like a place to exercise and like play sports and ya 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 and basically I'm in charge of the building when full-time staff isn't there so I'm super excited about it because I've literally never had a job other than working as a camp counselor so it's kind of like a camp counselor on steroids to be honest with like way more responsibility and it means that I'm actually gonna make money during the school year which will be very helpful because your girl broke which really means I'm just gonna spend more money on books but now it will be money that I actually have rather than money I don't have so win-win for me kind of question mark the next like experience thing that is my favorite is that i am finally a fully licensed driver in canada we have three levels of our driver's license there's the g1 which means you have to drive with someone who's had their license for five years g2 means you can drive by yourself but there's like certain restrictions about like the number of passengers in your car and that like what time you can drive and you can't go on highways blah 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 and then the third is your g license and is basically you get to drive whenever you want wherever you want blah 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 so i am finally a legal driver so your girl is very excited i mean like i don't have my own car I probably won't have my own car for a very long time, but your girl can use her mom's car, so like, it's fine. I'm just excited that I don't have to take another test because those things are so anxiety inducing. I hate them. So, finally done. Never have to take a test again. Super excited about that. Now on to like, things that I have. My first two things are Funko Pops. As you can probably tell, I have an obsession with Funko Pops. I got two in the month of October that I'm absolutely obsessed with. The first one is Marie from the Aristocats. She's one of my favorite characters. She is so sassy and she's just a little prissy priss like me. She's such a princess and I just love her so much. And this one is the like flocked version which means she's fuzzy. Like I don't open these containers because like I like to have them prestige condition but like you can just tell she's fluffy and I just want to touch her so badly. Then the second Funko Pop that I got for the month of October is Simba and he's the like I can't wait to be king Simba with the little like leaf mane and I just think he's so cute. The Lion King is my favorite Disney movie so I'm like slowly collecting all of the ones that I can because I'm obsessed with the Lion King so I'm pretty sure all I need now is Timon and Pumbaa, but they are impossible to find. I cannot find them anywhere. Like, I'm sure I could find them on Amazon if I went to look for them, but they'd probably be like a million dollars. And your girl, like I said, is broke. But she has a job now, so maybe eventually she'll be able to afford that million dollar Funko Pop, but the time is not now. The next two things that I'm going to talk about are clothing items. If you know me in real life, or if you've been watching this channel for a while and watched some of my like get to know me videos, then you know that I'm six feet tall, so I'm like a giant. It is very hard to find clothes that are pants that actually fit you that aren't legging. I have a pair of jeans that I found from Old Navy. They're these, like I'm not wearing them because if you've seen some of my wish haul videos and you see me trying to show like try on hauls, it doesn't go well because I'm a fucking giant. They're just like these really light blue washed jeans. I usually hate jeans because they're so hard to like move in. Your girl's a very active girl. She likes to move around. She doesn't like to sit still very much. These are super stretchy. They fit so well. They're like the stretchiest material jeans I've ever felt in my entire life, but they're not like jeggings. They're like actual jeans. Oh, jeggings are so freaking tight to your body. They're not skinny jeans. They're like real jeans and they're like the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. The next clothing item is actually this sweater crew neck that I'm wearing. If you watched my wish haul video, you would have seen me try it on, but it just says meow on it, and I think it's super cute. Yeah, it's kind of small on me, but I don't care. Your girl's gonna wear it anyway. She's gonna pretend that it fits her. It is super warm and comfy, so, like, I'm not complaining about it. I'm a cat, so meow. I love it. Which is like a great segue into my next favorite thing of the month, the Wish app. If you don't know what Wish is, it's basically a shopping app 
on your phone and everything comes from China or like across seas and it's super 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 cheap like one dollar two dollar three dollars and then like plus shipping I'm obsessed with it I can't stop buying things I have like this need this compulsive need to buy everything on that app and like half the time the stuff is so terrible quality but I just keep being like I need it I need everything in the, I need everything on it I need it all in my life and I can't stop buying it so like please send help I need an intervention to be honest as always I usually pick a favorite movie that I saw this month my favorite movie for this month was Kidnap and it's starring Halle Berry and it's basically where she has this seven-year-old son and he gets kidnapped when she's taking a phone call she's basically chasing after the car that kidnapped him and it's like that whole span of the day where she's trying to get him back and it is just like so entertaining like the whole time I was like oh my god and like that would have been the most terrifying situation in your entire life like imagine having a child and they get taken and you literally see them being taken into a car and you're following that car the entire day and just shit's going down and shit's going wrong left right and center like scariest experience but like made for such a good movie and now my favorite part of the video when I talk about my favorite songs of the month and get to lip sync very badly to them. I only have two songs this month, honestly. I've just been listening to John Bellion on repeat because I'm going to see him in concert in October, so like, I just gotta prepare myself mentally for being in the same room as him. They're not John Bellion. The first one, I'm sure you all can probably guess because if you've been on this channel for a while, you know I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift. She just released two new songs. One of them, not a big fan of. This one that I'm gonna play, obsessed with. It's Ready For It by Taylor Swift, and here it is. I just think it's like the most catchiest song in the entire world like I've been playing it on repeat in the car and just like jamming out by myself I'm obsessed with it and I cannot wait until her album drops like it's gonna be such a banger and the second song like when I first heard it I thought it was the stupidest song in the entire world honestly the lyrics are still completely stupid but it is so catchy that I can't help but love it if that makes sense. It is He Like That by Fifth Harmony. Stupidest song ever, but so catchy. <laughs> like, stupidest song ever, but so catchy. Like, playing it in the car by yourself and just like rocking out to it it's a good time it's a good time all right guys so those were all my favorites for the month of september 2017 let me know down below a couple of your favorites for this month and i will see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>